Hello, my fellow Americans. Tis I, the rumpled one. Free parking. No, I'm not talking about a place to park your car like when you go in the city that you don't have to pay, put money in a meter. No, I, what I'm talking about is the Monopoly game. There's a square, free parking. It's in the corner opposite, diagonally opposed to the go. And the point of this square is if you land on it, nothing happens. You just get to park there for free for a turn. Now some people change, you know, change the rules up, but I'm talking about the original rules. You land on free parking, and you can just basically sit there for a turn. Don't have to pay rent to anybody. Don't have to do anything. Just sit. But you see, my fellow Americans, we don't really have that in real life here in America anymore. Somehow we've lost the idea that somebody can come into a town and just park there for a day, overnight. I mean, most places, it's illegal to camp out on the beach. It's usually illegal to camp out in a city park or state park unless you pay money, but then it's not free parking. In fact, I saw a disturbing photograph where they actually had spikes in an area on the sidewalk so people couldn't sit or lay down there because they didn't want people to park there. I mean, in the land of the free, you'd think you'd be able to go from town to town and just park there for free. But I mean, even if you have a vehicle, you can't park for free. No, you can't. No parking overnight. Many of you may have remembered a video I wrote that it was uh, it's illegal to be alive in the U.S. of A. Just being born, you, you start violating laws just for being alive or trying to stay alive. And some people thought maybe I was, you know, a little over the top. But, you know, item by item, you can see it's true. I mean, there's some states... They'll have right there by the freeway exit, you know. It's illegal to pass goods between a car and a pedestrian. They don't want you giving, you know, the homeless anything. But, and they say that because, you know, it's a safety concern. They don't want anybody hit. But, you know, I know, that's, that's got nothing to do with safety. It's got nothing to do with it. I guess it's just that we've become so focused on collecting money from each other because that's what it's just just about is just collecting money from each other. You look at magazines, almost every other page is an ad. They want you to spend money. In fact, I was just looking at this one magazine I get. It's called Oxygen. No, not Oprah Oxygen. But it's a fitness magazine. And for some strange reason, I signed up somewhere and I get it for free. It's mainly geared towards women. But just about every page in there has a supplement ad. Or a drug ad. Or a something else ad, you know, clothes to wear ad. But I thought about the absurdity. I mean, here's a magazine that's promoting health and fitness. And they have exercises that you can do, routines. They give recipes. But then they have these ads as if what's in the magazine isn't enough to buy even more stuff. So first you buy the magazine, or like I said, I'm lucky enough to get it free. And then you can do what's in the magazine, or you can buy things. I mean, free parking. What a concept. I 
I guess maybe part of the problem is is that we are I guess so tribal that if somebody doesn't look like they belong in our tribe we don't want them around them get get rid of these people don't let them in shoo them away no live and let live anymore I was on a Facebook forum today and the guy had his new everyday carry bag but it was in like a digital camo print and somebody said you know try and stay away from that because you know some people might be intimidated by it and I replied I go the bag itself is not what's going to be intimidating it's what may be inside the bag may be intimidating because it can conceal a weapon and I also said that, you know, if somebody's intimidated by a camo bag, chances are you don't want to be around that person if you need what's inside that bag. Or when you need what's inside that bag, you definitely don't want them around because they're probably going to come unglued. But it just goes to show once again how the least little thing separate people, we the people, divide us rather than unite us. But I want you to, to just think about that concept of free parking. Next time you go into your town or city, just take a look around and see how many places where you can park for free. And I don't necessarily mean your car, but I mean where if you were a stranger and you were just traveling through, passing through, and you needed a place to rest your head at night, could you find one where you could stay legally? Walmart, I guess, is cracking down. Some Walmarts would allow RVers to park overnight, and I guess some aren't doing that anymore. It's a sad state of affairs, in my opinion. I wonder what you guys think. So tell me what you think about free parking, the, the whole concept, the whole idea. Whether or not it can be found where you live, I'd be curious. So anyway, my fellow Americans, it's the Rumble One, signing off.